Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome to a... This will be a little bit of a tutorial again here. Um, this is going to be a little bit different. I have not found any videos on YouTube uh, trying to... That shows, like, how to import your own voice. Because a lot of people want to do, like, an English accent or something like that in a survival horror game where you walk up and your character comes on and says, Oh... Um, I should do this in an instructional versus just words on the screen, um, like an instructional voice. Um, so in this video, I'm going to kind of walk you through how to do that. I've, I had to basically figure it out on my own. Um, I could not figure, I could not find anything on how to do this. Um, okay. And I have to walk you through this step by step without leaving Unreal Engine because, um, if I leave it, it'll stop recording, but it's actually a pretty simple process. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go on your uh, web browser and you want to go to Audacity and you want to download Audacity, okay? Um, it should be a free download. I'll provide a link in my description about it, <coughs> um, but you'll want to go, <coughs> sorry, um, you'll want to go download Audacity, okay? Um, and get that up and running, and um, make sure you obviously have a microphone also. Um, and once you do that, then whenever you open Audacity, after it's installed, it's going to be a, a simple record your voice app, basically. Um, so for mine, I just said the words test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Um, and you record that, okay? So you're in Audacity, You re it's it's pretty straightforward. If you can't figure out how to record your own voice whenever you open the Audacity app, then you probably shouldn't be using Unreal Engine. But it, I mean, it's it very, very simple. And then the next part you want to do before you save that, so you've recorded it, okay? Before you save that, you want to go to File in the top left corner, click on File, and click on uh, and go down and go to the Export Audio. Um, I believe is what it's called, uh, and that's going to export it as a certain thing. Um, so you're going to go to export audio and make sure it's exporting it as a wave. It can be a wave 16 bit. It can be a wave 32 bit. Um, that doesn't really matter, but it has to be exported as a wave. So, um, whenever you click on export audio, it'll give you the options. It's typically already set as a wave and give your file, give that file a name. Okay. So you'll export that wave, um, and then that's it, and it'll save it automatically as that wave. Um, and then the next thing you want to do, this is where, so that, I mean, that's basically completely done. You, you can do it completely through Audacity because it exports it as a wave. So the next thing you do is you come into your Unreal Engine. Um, so whenever you're in your Unreal Engine, um, the next thing you do is you press Import right here. So you press import, um, and okay, so it, it's going to be, you'll have to find your file location. Um, mine was in my documents, so I went to my import, and I went to uh, my documents, okay, and then I went to the Audacity folder in those documents, actually. It wasn't, um, you'd think it'd be somewhere else, like on the disk space or something. Mine was in my documents, and you go, you just find the Audacity folder, okay, and you click on your Audacity folder and whatever you save that recording at, as it should be there. Um, so then you you just import that directly from Audacity. And Audacity is a completely free thing. If they make you pay for it, you're on the wrong website. Um, and you import that and it's saved automatically as a wave. And it has to be saved as a wave for you to get it into Unreal Engine and for it to work. Okay, so then you import that. And then whenever you import it, wherever you import it at, this is what mine was. I titled it test one, two, um, import it as this wave. And there it is. Test one, two, three. And that's my test. Um, the next thing I did, you don't have, it depends on what you're wanting to do. I did a simple box trigger for it. Um, this box trigger right here. So I went to this box trigger and then up into my blueprints, open level blueprints, did on collision, begin overlap and play sound 2D. And I selected the test one, two. Um, and then whenever we play, uh, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. 
there it is. There's that recording. And so then at that point, once your test works, then you can um, basically record anything you want to. So just to, yeah, and I'm sorry that I couldn't, like, I can't, like, I'm using the Xbox recording app. So if I, like, leave this page, then it uh, makes me, it stops recording. So, um, so whenever you do, so you're going to go to Audacity, download Audacity, do the recording, um, do it as, go to file export on there in the top. So go to file, then go to export as, um, and then you'll do the, uh, do it as the wave, save that. And then at that point, whenever you come into import, then you find that exact file location, that exact file, whatever you title it as, and then you import it into your, uh, into your game. Um, and then, um, I, like I said, I just have mine set to where every time I overlap trigger this trigger box that it, it test plays that one, one, test two, one, three, two, test three, one, test two, three, three, double two, multiple. three. Obviously I'm not going to leave it like that. I was just trying to show an example of what it would be like. Um, so yeah, that is how you do that. I haven't found any videos on how to do it. So, um. That is basically, and I'm doing it for this hard game that I'm creating right now. So uh, that's how you do that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments because I know this is, and I, again, I apologize for this, um, how I just had to walk you through it by word of mouth. Um, but if you have any questions, just type it in the comments and I will try and answer it for you in the comments. So that's about it, and K-bye. Okay,